Hi, it's Mike Family TV, and today I kind of want I wanted to share with you how I organize my nails and screws. I know everyone is a DIYer, you have tons of boxes, you have screws everywhere. I've come up with a system that I've been using the last few years and I really like it. I wanted to share it with you. What I used to do is I used to have a few of these with the boxes of screws and nails and everything in them. Although it worked out pretty well, it was real messy. The boxes would leak and I'd have empty screws all over the place. And it was really frustrating when I was doing a job and I needed screws and nails and different ones. I had to keep bringing this out. So that's why I moved to these holders, which I really like. What I do is this is my working set right here. These are the screws that I pretty much use on a daily basis or on a weekly basis, okay? And what I do is I kind of standardize what I use. So I have drywall screws. I have two different types that I always buy, and I always buy the same drywall screws. All right, so I buy one and five eighths, and actually what I do is I cut out the box and I leave that in here. So what that does is that tells me when I run out of these screws, I need to go back and to the store, I bring this with me, I go buy them, I refill this, and there we go. So I always have this, these screws on hand, and I always have a longer drywall screw on hand. This is, you know, my two and a half inch. So I have two and a half inch, and I have one and five eighths. Okay, so that's my drywall. Then I actually, my all purpose screws, my general use screws, I pretty much use all the time are these construction screws they're called. What these are, these are basically uh, grip right, right? Get these from Home Depot, Lowe's or whatever. And I keep these on hand. These are like whenever I'm doing any kind of frame or anything like that, I use these screws. These have a special, I think it's a T25 um, bit. And again, I leave this in here so that I know when I run out of this screw, I just go buy this screw. I don't go to the store and go, what do I have at, at home? And then I buy another screw and then I have like, you know, 10 of the one screw and, and then a whole box of this new screws and it's, you know, so I always just make sure I buy the same exact screws and I refill this, okay? I have these anchors. These are the only drywall anchors I pretty much use. So I leave these in here. I have one container in here with all the bits that I need that works with all these screws. So I always have a bit because as you can see, these are Torx, boom. And of course the drywall screw is just a normal Phillips, okay? All right, so this is like my everyday screw container. This goes with me. Whenever I grab my drill, I grab this. This comes with me, all right? Now, you may be wondering what this is for. Now, this is a really neat box, okay? This is like all my specialty screws, okay? So right off the bat, for example, I use these actually a lot. These should probably be moved into my primary case, but these are trim screws. Okay, and I actually take the box, the lid of the box, and I put it right in here. And you can see it fits in there pretty well. And I have the extra bit in there, but I use these a lot, okay? So I have these set in here, and this, again, this is all of my specialty, I would say, called my specialty screws. So if we look in here, these are all my cabinet screws. Different sizes, you know? And again, so that I know exactly what they are, right, I leave this right in there okay and again i'm not hanging cabinets every day so these don't get used that often that's why it's kind of in this secondary bin so i really like this system it really keeps me organized and really what that does is it really cuts down frustration when you're doing a job and you're trying to look for a screw and it just keeps everything so nice and neat it's real nice when you're doing a project you can bring these out open them up and you can just see everything and pick what you need a lot of times I just leave the bit in with the screws because, you know, over the years you just collect bits and collect bits. I just leave them in there so that when I'm going to use the screw, the bit's in there and I have it, okay? Uh, if it was, if I was to do it again, I probably would stick with these rigids. I really like these rigids. I have moved to, um, I've moved away from toolboxes to a primary, pa primarily for packouts. And I'm a DIYer. I'm at home all the time doing these projects. So I'm just moving stuff around my house. But I really, even for a DIYer at home, these packouts are real nice. You can bring a whole bunch of, to the area of the house you're working in, open them all up. You have all your tools there. When you're done, put everything away, carry it back to the garage or wherever. If you think it's a good idea, maybe leave me a comment down below. Or if you have a better solution for your kind of your screws and nail storage, let me know down below. I really would be interested to hear your feedback, okay? I'm Mike, Family DIY TV. Please give me a like. Please check out FamilyDIYTV.com. I'm Mike, give me a like, and I'm out.